today, we're going to talk about the history and fate of the sun, the star that gives us life and light. Thank you for watching and enjoy. The sun is the center of our solar system, a giant ball of plasma that holds most of the mass of the entire system. Plasma is a state of matter where atoms are so hot that they lose their electrons and become charged particles. The sun is made mostly of two kinds of atoms, hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen makes up about three-fourths of the sun's mass, while helium makes up most of the rest. The sun also has small amounts of other heavier elements like oxygen, carbon, neon, and iron. These atoms were formed in the cores of older stars that exploded long ago and then recycled into the sun when it was born. The sun is very big and very hot. It's about 1.39 million kilometers or 864,000 miles across which means you could fit about 1.3 million Earths inside it. The sun's core is scorching hot, with a temperature of about 15 million degrees Celsius, or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. This is many thousands of times hotter than the hottest lava on Earth. The sun's surface, or photosphere, is cooler, but still very hot, at around 5,500 degrees Celsius, or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, is strangely hotter than the surface, with temperatures reaching millions of degrees. Scientists are still trying to figure out exactly why that is. The sun is also very old and very bright. It was born about 4.6 billion years ago from the collapse of a cloud of spinning gas and dust in space called the solar nebula. As the cloud collapsed under its own gravity, the pressure and temperature at the core increased until it became hot and dense enough to start a nuclear reaction. This is the process where hydrogen atoms smash together to form helium, releasing huge amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. This energy pushes outward against the gravity, creating a balance that keeps the sun stable. The sun has been shining like this for about 4.6 billion years, and it's expected to continue shining in roughly the same way for another 5 billion years or so. But then, things will start to change. The sun will run out of hydrogen in its core, and it will start to fuse helium into heavier elements instead. This will make the core shrink and heat up, while the outer layers grow and cool down. The sun will become a red giant a huge star that will swallow the inner planets Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth. That's right, one day, the Sun may envelop our home planet. But don't worry, this is in the very distant future, and the Sun won't stay a red giant forever. Eventually, it will run out of helium and other elements to use, and it will shed its outer layers into space, forming a beautiful cloud of gas and dust called a planetary nebula. The core will remain as a white dwarf, a small and dense leftover that will slowly cool down over trillions of years. It is truly fascinating to ponder the state of the solar system after these changes occur. What planets will remain? How will they be affected? And how many planets will be lost in the sun's expansion? These questions are so far in the future that scientists can only make calculated speculations of what may take place with these changes. For now, we can just wonder about these distant changes. So this is the story of our sun, from its birth to its death. It's a fascinating tale of cosmic evolution, and it reminds us of our place in the universe. We are lucky to live in a time when the sun is stable providing us with the energy we need to survive and thrive. But we also have to remember that the sun is not eternal and that one day it will fade away. That's why we should cherish every moment we have under its light 
and explore the wonders of the cosmos while we can. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, feel free to show your support with a like or by sharing this video with someone else who may enjoy it. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.